Hello friends, welcome again to another session on trigonometry and uh, in this session we are going to study uh, one more formula which is called co cosine formula. In the last session you saw sine rule where a by sine a is equal to b by sine b is equal to c by sine c and that was equal to twice the circumradius of the uh, triangle, right? Now in this uh, session uh, we are going to study one more uh, uh, formula which is uh, a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. And likewise for other sides as well. So there are these these formulae are part of nothing something called cosine formula. Okay, now how do we even uh, prove it? So how do we prove it? So there could be two cases, guys. One is when the uh, triangle is acute angle triangle, and uh, the other one when the triangle is obtuse angle triangle. So we'll try to prove this for both the cases. So let's try and first prove for case A, that is, it is acute angled triangle, right? Acute angled triangle. So if the triangle is acute angled, then what happens? So clearly you can see the diagram here. A, B, C is a triangle. A, small a, small b, small c uh, depicts the sides opposite to angle A, angle B and angle C respectively. So I have dropped a perpendicular from B onto AC. So here BD is, so BD is perpendicular to AC here. Similarly, in this case also BD is perpendicular to AC, right? Both the cases. So let's take up acute angle case first. Now, first is A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. Now, okay, so considering triangle BDC, okay, in triangle BDC, we can write by Pythagoras theorem, A square is equal to BD square plus DZ, DC square, isn't it? Right? BD square plus DC square by what? By Pythagoras theorem very easy no problems here by Pythagoras theorem I can write this isn't it so hence a square is bd square plus dc square therefore a square is equal to now can I not write a square as or sorry bd square as c square and it will be a better idea to write it as let's say this is x so this uh, let's say ad is equal to x okay so DC will be equal to clearly AC minus X, that is B minus X. Okay, so let's write A, A square is equal to um, A BD square plus DC square, right? So let's first try and write a few more equation, uh, relations. So like C square will be equal to BD square plus X square by same logic by Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? Right? C square is equal to B, BD square plus X square, right? And AD upon AD upon AB is equal to cos A. Isn't it? AD upon AB is cos A because, uh, you know, this, this angle is A. So, hence BD upon AB will be cos A. This implies AD will be simply AB cos A. A, A, B, A, B cos A. Now AD was my friend. AD, what do we, what did we assume it to be? X and AB is anyway C, so C cos A. X is C cos A, right? X is C cos A. Now, continuing here, what do we get? So clearly, uh, BD square is equal to C square minus X square from here. BD square is C square minus X square, isn't it? Now C square minus X square and X is C square cos square A, right? Here is X, isn't it? And what about, uh, so BD square is known, now DC square, what is DC? DC square is clearly b minus x whole square right d, if you see dc square is b minus x whole square so if you expand it it will be b square plus x square minus 2bx correct so let's write this so b square and x square is c square cos square a from here again and this will be minus 2b and x is c cos a c cos a so let me write the numbers of the equation this is equation number one this will be equation number two 
and this is equation number three so from one two and three guys from one two and three what do we get we get a square is equal to let's write bd square first so bd square is c square minus c square cos square a correct and let's write dc now dc square dc square is given as b square plus c square cos square a minus 2bc cos a correct from equation number three so if you see this cancels out so hence we get the first relationship a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos of a right this is cosine formula now you can similar by similar logic you can pr prove the other ones too right since uh, the choice of a and b and c is totally dependent on the user or the person who's doing it so hence irrespective of whatever a b and c you can apply the symmetry logic and you will get that these relations the second one and third one will also hold you can try on your own and you will see that by the same logic instead of dropping a perpendicular from b you have to now drop from a and then from c like that and then you can find out uh, you know the other two relationships as well so this will pass through the same point yeah so this is the cosine formula for uh, an acute angle triangle now let us see will it be the same for the obtuse angle case so here is the obtuse angle and now let us again do the similar exercise and uh, what uh, you can see bd has been dropped again bd is perpendicular to ac so hence here uh, i can i should write bd perpendicular to ac okay so uh, now what is ad so if you now say see again we can write from here also a square is equal to bd square plus cd square by pythagoras theorem right bd square can be written as um, uh, bd square can be written as c square minus ad square bd square can be written as c square minus ad square and cd square can be written as ad minus ad minus b whole square am i right ad minus b whole square right now if you see this is c square minus ad square then plus ad square then plus b square minus 2 ad into b right so ad square ad square goes it becomes c square plus b square minus 2 ad into b now what is ad guys so if you see ad upon c is cos of a right so ad will be clearly c times cos a so you can deploy this back into this equation to get the desired result so you'll get a square is equal to c square plus b square minus 2 times c cos a times b so rearranging you will get a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos of a correct if you see guys this is you know pythagoras theorem becomes a special case for all of this what happens if a is angle a is 90 degree so if angle a is 90 degrees then what happens we know that cos of 90 degree is equal to zero right so clearly if a is 90 degree so what will be the diagram uh, diagram will be something like that isn't it so a becomes 90 this is a and this is b and this is c this is pythagoras theorem so that means this is a this is b this is c so a square must be equal to b square plus c square which is true if you deploy this back here you'll get a square is equal to b square plus c square right this is the pythagoras theorem so you can treat pythagoras theorem as a special a case of cosine formula so please remember these three formula for problem solving in olympiads and in different exams like je and all this is a very important formula this will be used in physics as well a lot so in vector algebra these kind of relations are used a lot so please keep these three in mind right this is called cosine formula in the next session we'll see projection formula